I'm Michelle, and today we'll be discussing the methods you can use to form your LLC in Maryland. Now, we're going to be covering the steps involving in starting your LLC, the forms that you're going to need, your naming requirements, and the five main steps that you needed to register your Maryland LLC. I'll also be explaining the importance of having a registered agent and a very key term which is known as piercing the corporate will. Now, these are the two points you definitely don't want to miss out. Maryland reaches the second position in the U.S. for having women-owned businesses. The share of such companies is around 39% of total companies. The state is growing faster and is making its way forward to the global charts for having women-owned businesses. Biopharma, construction services, and cybersecurity are one of the most thriving businesses out. You can start on your Maryland LLC by three methods. Number one is that you can do it yourself, in which case you can choose to fill out the online forms and send them off via mail. Number two is that you can hire a professional service to do it for you, which is the most easy and secure method out there. Now, we personally recommend Taylor Brands as one of the best services out there for this purpose. Number three is that you can go ahead and hire an attorney. Now, coming to a very common question, but a very important question nonetheless, what exactly is an LLC? Now, an LLC is a hybrid business entity combining a corporation's characteristics with a partnership or sole proprietorship. It separates your personal assets from your business assets and thus gives you personal asset protection. When you're starting off your LLC in Maryland, you mainly have to file your certificate of formation with the state and pay a filing fee of $100. In this video, we're going to be discussing option number one and number two. But we're going to be placing emphasis on exactly why you need a professional service to do it for you. Because you have to make sure that you're doing your LLC work correctly. This is this one of those things where you can't afford missing out on any of the key information or have any misunderstandings. Taylor Brands is a really good and a competent professional service that you can get because forming an LLC is not just filing out the certificate of formation, but it's also deciding on a name, hiring a registered agent, creating an operating agreement, and obtaining an EIN. Now, all of these can be done under one roof with Taylor Brands. I'll be leaving the links in the description below so you can easily go and check them out. We're now going to discuss in detail the five important steps that you must cover when you're forming your LLC in Maryland. Starting off with the very first step for your LLC in Maryland is basically choosing the business name, which is very simple, but before you name your business, you must know that the name should be easy to remember, it should be available in the state, and should follow the LLC naming guidelines. Now you can find the guidelines at startmyllc.io. Specific requirements that need to be followed when naming the company are number one, your business name should be available, and no other existing business in Maryland can have that name. Limited liability company or LLC should be there as a suffix in the company name. You cannot use a name for your business that is confusing or could be misleading. Terms such as State Department, FBI, CIA should not be used at all. Number four is terms like bank, university, attorney, or doctors. They can be used, but only if you fill out the additional requirements by the Maryland state government. However, if you do not wish to file your LLC right now, but you want to hold on to the name that you've decided, then you can reserve the name for 30 days. But to keep the name, you have to file a name reservation application and pay $20 to reserve your name with the Maryland Secretary of State. Now coming on to the second and highly vital step to forming an LLC in the state of Maryland is to appoint a registered agent. A registered agent is an entity that will act and work on your LLC's behalf and will receive all the important paperwork and other official government correspondence. Hence, hiring a competent registered agent is extremely necessary. And you have to make sure your registered agent is a resident of Maryland or has a physical street address over there. Now, the business address is used as the LLC's principal address in Maryland. Most LLC formation companies also do provide a registered agent service. Taylor Brands is a great LLC setup service and even if you buy the cheapest plan for around $49 a year, you also get a registered agent service and other services at a very reasonable price. A key thing to know when getting a registered agent is the importance of having one and having a legit one. Because in case of any lawsuit or if you do get sued, the lawyer of the other party is going to do what is known as piercing the corporate will. Now, most people believe that they're setting up their LLC for tax purposes, but the real reason for setting up your LLC is to limit your liability. Basically, what it does is that it creates a divide between your personal assets and your business assets. And so if you're sued in your business, they cannot really go after your personal assets. Now, when you're sued, the attorney who is the one suing you is going to start looking for cracks in your LLC. And this is where they're going to pierce the corporate will. Now, the first thing they're going to do is that they're going to check whether you have a registered agent, is the person legit, and have they been filing the appropriate paperwork. Coming to the third and another important step in forming an LLC is to file a certificate of formation. The Maryland Articles of Organization is a legal document needed to officially register your business with the Secretary of State. It costs $100 to file your formation certificate in Maryland. The certificate of formation includes details like the name of your LLC, registered agent's name, address, employee details, and structures of the company whether it's member managed or manager managed. Before hiring any employees in Maryland, one should really go through the rules and regulations to avoid any future conflicts. We personally suggest that you use Taylor Brands to file the certificate of formation because they provide an easier way to fill out the forms without any confusion or missing out any of the steps. If you do get stuck anywhere, they do have a live chat option where you can go and get help as soon as you can. 
Fourth step is filing the operating agreement. An operating agreement is an internal document that legally outlines the proprietorship and operating procedures of your LLC. Now, this document is vital as it ensures all the business owners are on the same page regarding how they operate, their voting power, business resolutions, and so much more. Now, this helps reduce future conflicts. When it comes to filing a Maryland LLC operating agreement, the state doesn't really require you to have a very comprehensive agreement, but it is ideal to have one that contains the details of your entire operation. It's recommended that it should be done by using a professional service such as Taylor Brands since they know exactly what to do and you won't have to worry about missing out any of the details. The agreement template is drafted for a very small fee of $29. Now the EIN, which is also known as the Employer Identification Number, is a nine-digit number given by the IRS to make it easier to identify the type of businesses for tax purposes and taxes in general. The EIN is necessary for any active businesses or any form of businesses for that matter. An EIN is needed when the LLC hires employees. Now to obtain an EIN, one has to fill up a form which can be done online or you can do it by mail and you just need to submit it to the IRS. You can also get an EIN assistant through Taylor Brands that can help you out with the process. I'll be leaving the links to all the resources in the description below. You can go there and you can check out which of the options suit your requirements. But for now, I'm going to be showing you how to file your forms using Taylor Brands. So this is the website for Taylor Brands. And as you can see on the website, there's option to set up your LLC and you can also design a logo, merch and the website itself for your brand in case you need one and haven't really gotten around to getting it. I'm going to go into form an LLC. Now choose the state that you're setting up your LLC in. Add your business name. You can check for the name availability here, which will save you a lot of time. Or alternatively, you can choose the method that I told you earlier by going to the business entity name search. Click on the type of services that you're offering. You'll have to pick which stage of your business that you're on, whether it's still in the idea stage or it has been set up and fully running. Choose what sort of income your brand will be. Choose whether your business will have a physical address to receive the documents and also whether there will be a dedicated person there who is going to receive these. Select the number of employees. Now you have to fill out the information for your business like your name, phone number, email address. Now choose whether you want to opt for a registered agent or not. Taylor Brand charges $199 annually for hiring a registered agent. If you don't have one, then I highly recommend that you get one through them because the one thing you can't risk is not having a legitimate registered agent. You're going to need an EIN like I discussed before for tax related purposes. If you don't have one or you're overwhelmed by the process required to get an EIN, then just let Taylor Brands do it for you. It's going to cost you $99. Pick if you want to file for compliance. It will cost you $199 when you do it through Taylor Brands. Here you can choose whether you want to have your business branding done. If you already have things like logos, domain, and a website, then just move forward. Select if you want to speed up the process. You can form the operating agreement using Taylor Brands. If you haven't made one already, or you are unsure of how to proceed with making the agreement by yourself. See if all the information that you chose and entered is correct and check the final billing as well. You can now proceed to pay for the service and that's all you need to start and form your LLC. Now that you've created your Maryland LLC, what's next? But there are some things that you might have missed out on your way. Now you need to get a company business bank account. You need a business credit card. You need to fill out the Maryland business permits and licenses. You need to get general liability insurance and professional liability insurance, which covers your employees. And you need to file out the Maryland annual report. I hope this detailed video helped you out on your, how to start your LLC in Maryland. I wish you the best of luck if you're starting off your business there. Please continue supporting our channel by liking the video, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the notification button. Thank you for watching.